Hey everyone, welcome back to IT Samurai Teacher. My name is Shehabdul. In today's video, I'll show you how to enable SSH on Kali Linux and connect to it remotely using a Windows 11 computer. I'll break it down into simple steps and explain each command so you can follow along. Let's get started. Open your terminal on your Kali Linux. Now let's see if SSH enable. We're going to type sudo systemctl status ssh. We're going to check the status on the ssh. It's running or not. Now, when I type hit uh, enter, it takes some time. And you can see in here, there are a few issues. But I'm going to ignore this one. And I'm going to create a different video for this one. Unable to resolve the host. Now, we're going to focus on the this error message. It says disable in here. Now, so now if it says dead or disable, like in this example, SSH is not running. By default, SSH is disabled on Kali Linux for secure reason. Let's enable and start. Our SS. Now, first of all, we need to make sure our Kali Linux system has the latest package list. We're going to type sudo apt update. This refresh the list of available software packages to ensure you get the latest updates. Okay, you can see all the packages are up to date. Now, let's go to the next step. By default, SSH is not installed on Kali Linux. We'll install the open SSH server. We're going to type sudo apt install open open ssh server server y. Now, the open SSH server this package enables the ssh server on your kali machine this dash y automatically confirms installation you can see it just install let's go open ssh service ready the newest version so you can see the newest version open ssh server set to manually install the following package were automatically installed and no longer required Everything looks good. Next, what we're going to do here is once the install, you need to start the SSH service. I'm going to type sudo system ctl start SSH. Okay, we're going to ignore this part because this is another issue I am having. So please ignore that part. Now we run sudo system ctl start ssh. So we didn't have any issues for that purpose, right? So what are we going to do here is now we're going to confirm if it's running. Going to type sudo system ctl. Uh, status SSH. I think I type it wrong. Let me type it again. Should pop up with the error message. Yes. You can type sudo system ctl status SSH. Okay. Now we can see it's running. It's actively running, but the service is disabled. So that's fine. That's fine. We're going to enable in a bit. Now we can see the SSH is running. And everything looks perfect. Let's go ahead and enable the service now. Okay, we're going to type sudo system ctl enable ssh and see if that is going to enable. Okay, let's ignore this part and let's go to this one. Synchronization state of ssh service with this is why it's a script. Okay, so it says enable. So everything looks good. I didn't see any issues. So I'm going to type again sudo systemctl status ssh. Let's check the status again. You can see the first type time we enter, we got uh, disable. You can see here disable. 
now once we run the enable you can see it's showing you enable and active running the success I'm going to give you ex a brief explanation all this information once we tested everything and we'll be back to this uh, results and I'm going to give you a good explanation each of these now next thing is we need to find the IP address if you don't know what's your IP address on your Kali Linux because we need to connect from our Windows 11 box so we're going to type IPA to see the IP address on the Kali Linux box and we can see the IP address is this one so this is the IP address we're going to do SSH now um, now we need to actually allow SSH in our firewall. If the firewall enable, sometimes your firewall is enable, so we need to allow. So if you have a firewall, we need to run to allow the SSH traffic. We're going to type sudo ufw allow port 22 TCP. Normally SSH port is port 22 TCP. Now firewall utility for managing firewall rules. This is the one ufw now you can see ufw command not found that means we don't uh, we didn't install our firewall but just in case if you already have a firewall then you will run this but if you don't have a file that's totally fine you don't need to enable this is only if firewall is enabled now this allow uh, 22 tcp allow incoming sss connection now uh, let's jump into our Windows 11 box and try to see SSH to the Kali Linux and test it out. Okay, I just jump into my Windows 11 box. Now you need to SSH to your Kali box, right? Now, first of all, make sure you know the username of your Kali box. Normally, if it's this is the first time, normally Kali box come with the username is default Kali. So we're going to type first SSH. We're going to type ssh and we're going to type the username of the kali box is kali is that's the default and i'm going to put at sign after that we need to type the ip address of the kali box my ip address 192.168 and uh, 131.128 now the first time when you do a ssh this will pop up only for first time so when you connect to a remote server using ssh for the first time your system doesn't yet recognize the server identity that's why it asks if you want to continue it shows a unique key fingerprint which is like a digital id for the server if you are confident this is the correct server you type yes and the servers identify and serve for future connections this ensure that the next time you connect your system will automatically verify the server's authenticity and won't ask again unless something changes like the server's key which is could indicate a secret issue this process is critical security step to prevent unauthorized connection or man in the middle attacks now i'm going to type yes and i'm going to type the password kali now normally Kali come with the default username Kali default password is Kali but best security advice best practice is change the password default password my next video I'm going to show you everything change the default username change the default password on the Kali box now let's go exit now and try to uh, SSH again we're going to type SSH Kali you can see we didn't get that fingerprint again because it's already saved so that's mean only the first time it will pop up to save the fingerprint i'm going to type kali now we are able to get into the kali we are ssh from my windows box now i'm going to type sudo apt update all right and that's it you have successfully enabled ssh on kali linux and connected to it remotely using your windows 11 pc this is great great way to manage your kali machine remotely if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and leave a comment for any questions thanks for watching it samurai teacher see you on my next video